Guys, it's Nurse Gwenny. Let's talk about mechanical ventilation, specifically minute ventilation. So if you're new to mechanical ventilator use, I'm sure you've heard of things like tidal volume, respiratory rate, setting your PEEP, your FiO2, your inspiratory pressures, things like that. But do you understand what minute ventilation is? You know the old saying, there's more than one way to skin a cat, and there's more than one way to achieve a minute ventilation. Let's say your patient needs eight liters per minute. That's gonna be the total amount of air we're moving in and out of the patient over the entirety of a minute. So let's say this patient needs eight liters, okay? I can accomplish that by taking larger breaths. I can do 500 milliliters 16 times per minute, and that will achieve eight liters of minute ventilation. But let's say we've got a patient that can't handle 500 milliliters of air. Let's say they have ARDS or some kind of uh, compromise to the compliance of their lungs, and they need some smaller breaths. Well, we can chop those breaths in half, and we can do smaller breaths, let's say 200 150 milliliters and we can do 32 breaths per minute so we're gonna have to go faster with those breaths but we're taking smaller breaths and so over the entire minute we're still moving the same amount of air so there you have it a really easy way to understand minute ventilation if you want to know more about mechanical ventilator use make sure you're following at melody rt over on instagram she's phenomenal at teaching us all mechanical ventilator theory